next story we're going to look at, this one is an interesting story because it's basically a story of degrees. It's a story of lots of little small steps that lead to you being discussed on a podcast called Dead Rabbit Radio. This one's actually a recommendation from YouTube user David. David, I I always leave out people's last names because I don't know if they want that much attention. But anyway, so David on YouTube was like, hey, have you ever covered the story of the dirtiest man in the world? Now, I was aware of the dirtiest man in the world, but I hadn't done an episode on him yet. This is legit. You go, is is he going to list 10 people who are the dirtiest? No, there's actually a guy who's considered the dirtiest man in the world. So let's hop in the carpenter copter. We are leaving the books, the human skin book place. So I'll hop in the carpenter copter. We're going to fly over to Iran and not get shot down. We're going to land in southern Iran, far away from any sort of missiles, I'm assuming. I don't know. (laughs) Anyways, the carpenter copter flies over the Middle East, safely lands in southern Iran, and that is where we meet Amu Haji. So Amu Haji is 84 years old. He's an old man living in the desert. He's 84 years old. He has not had a bath in 60 years. He's so dirty looking and all leathery that he looks like the dirt around him. Other people, and that's not me being racist, other people in Iran go, he looks like the dirt. He looks like a bunch of rocks moving around. So, like I said, this is a story of degrees. The question is, how do you become the dirtiest man living in the desert? This Okay, so the story goes like this. The legend is that when he was a young man, a young woman broke his heart. Oh, that's so sad. I wonder if they have Valentine's Day in Iran. Anyway, so this young girl breaks his heart, and he's like, I don't want anything to do with anybody. I'm totally heartbroken. I'm just going to leave town. So he runs out into the desert. Now that's, I get that. I get that emotion. You you get your heart broken when you're young, or even when you're old, but it hurts more when you're young, because it's, you know, you haven't had it broken that many times. You run away. Now, again, Here's the first degree. Most people go, you know what? I this isn't I just got to get back on the saddle and go back to town and try to find my way in the world. But the he doesn't. He goes, yeah, I have whatever. I'm going to live out in the desert. Now he's living out in the desert and he while he's out there for whatever reason, he goes, "You know what I'm going to also do while I'm out here? I'm going to stop bathing. I'm just going to stop I'm just going to stop bathing." And you might go, okay, Jason, That's uh, you're in the desert, so you're going to be dirty all the time. You would spend all day long taking baths. It could have been a, it just could have been a logistical issue. He didn't have time or enough water to bathe all the time. But he actually believes that if he takes a bath, he gets sick. So he runs out into the desert because he gets his heart broken. He decides to stop taking baths. And then he makes the decision to start drinking water out of a rusty oil can. A rusty old dirty oil can. And you're like, why? Go back to town and get some nice ceramic mugs. Get a beer stein. But no, he finds a a dusty, rusty, dirty oil can. Uses that to drink water. He drinks five liters of water a day. So that's good. He's not going to get dehydrated. He may get (laughs) several oil-based illnesses. But he's not going to get dehydrated. So what does he do for food, you ask? Well, for food, what would you do for food if you're in the Iranian desert? What animals are out there? Vultures? worms i don't know but he decides to eat rotting porcupine meat that's his favorite meal he eats rotting porcupine meat see what i mean it's a story of degrees you want to be a hermit fine you don't want to take a bath fine but at what point do you go i'm just going to eat rotting porcupine meat because if there's rotting porcupine meat there's porcupines just get a porcupine and kill it and cook it And eat it. You don't have to eat it rotting. Just eat one that you just killed. So apparently in Iran, there are vultures, worms, and porcupines. Because there's enough rotting meat for him to eat it. So he's sitting there. Let's say at this point he's probably like 40 or 50. He's been out in the desert for a long time. He's covered in dirt. Drinking water out of a rusty oil can. He's eating rotting porcupine meat. But he's like, you know what, man? I'm so bored. I didn't bring any of my human skin books out here. Because I didn't bring any of any entertainment. There's no, I don't got my Game Boy. What am I going to do for fun? So what would you do for fun? You would, of course, do what Amu does. He starts smoking dried animal poop. Now, at this point, you're like... The, <sighs> rotting meat, dirty water, no bath. And for entertainment, he smokes dried animal poop. Why? 
Like, I, and I, that's what was so, if it was just this guy was the dirtiest man in the world, I'd be like, ah, he doesn't take a bath, no big deal. But it's all the other little things that he does that just paints this sign of insanity. Now, he says that he's totally fine. He says one of the biggest trouble that he's had was a group of men from the nearby town showed up and tried to force him to take a bath, and he ran away. Like, that was one of the big moments of his life as a hermit. Now, he's been covered in the media quite a lot because, again, it's kind of an intriguing case. It's usually intriguing when people just kind of brush off society and go out on their own. But the latest article I read was that he is currently looking for love. He wants to rekindle that fire he once had, bring that love back into his life. I think before that happens, you're going to have to take a bath. And that's probably the least of your things. You're going to have to find something else to eat and stop smoking the animal dung. But at 84, I can't imagine, like, even if he came back and did, like, a whole she's all that makeover thing. I think after spending 60 years out in the wilderness, that just being inside, like, having to go back to sit inside and then you're like, whoa, what's this thing? And they're like, oh, that's a SpongeBob SquarePants. He's like, oh, my God, people, these these drawings, they automatically... He's not that old. Like, he knows what television and cartoons are, but it would be such a culture shock. So he can either hope for to go back into the real world or for one day him to wake up and there is a hot young woman sitting there, just slightly dusty, going, man, I'm thirsty. Is there any rusty oil cans around I can drink from? Like, he would need to find someone on his vibe level. But, you know, the world's big enough. I'm sure there are women who read that article and were like, hmm... It's kind of sexy. He's a rebel. The ultimate bad boy. He doesn't let society tell him what to smoke. He'll eat whatever he wants. I'm sure if he had a mail address, women would write him love letters like they write serial killers in prison. But Hamu Haji, Dead Rabbit, Radio salutes you. Whatever you want, I hope you get. You don't. You seem relatively harmless. I just think it's so bizarre that you go from just saying, I don't want to take a bath, to smoking animal poop and eating rotting porcupine. Like, I really wish I could figure out where those decisions happen, because I don't think all four of those things happen on the same day. I don't think as he was leaving town, he saw a rotting porcupine and goes, I'll be back for you later. First, I gotta go not take a bath. But then I'm gonna eat you, I'm gonna smoke some animal poop. It's just weird how those steps all progressed. That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys. 